um, now you've had a couple of days to adjust it. How did you assess the playoffs overall? I mean, it's tough. We lost a series. You know, I, I feel like those first two games, we we could all like have to get one one win out of there. Uh, it was tough to lose those two two games there. I think we played we played quite quite well. You know, I feel like those two games at home when we won, we played really well. Then the last one, it was just like I feel like we couldn't get our best out of it, but I still feel like we played well. How much fun was it to play with this group? Because also everybody's talked about is how inclusive everybody was and how much everybody got along. So from your perspective, how much fun was it to be part of this group this year? I mean, a lot of fun. You know, it's every time when I came with the team, it's, it's just like feel like I can be myself. You know, I can I can talk literally anything what I want. All the guys are just like even laughing to my jokes. It's a surprise for me. <laughs> so so it's been a lot of fun to be part of the team as like you know I'm gonna remember this team for my whole life for my life. Does that help from a development perspective because it takes it off maybe a lot of the pressure and it allows you to kind of develop the, your game in the way you want to play it? I mean for sure yeah, like you know when you have a group of guys who like hang out together a lot uh, we like live, basically live together so it's when you go on the ice, you, you don't think about anything else. Like you, normally, you maybe think like, okay, I gotta play well to get up there. But now you, I feel like everybody was playing more like a, with the team, you know, for the boys. That's, I feel like that was the biggest thing for us. How did you feel your game developed over the course of the whole season? I mean, I feel like for me, it's kind of like when I got called up, called, uh, sent down, it's kind of like I just tried to find the rhythm again. Uh, I feel like when I played down here, uh, I was. I'm pretty happy how I played here, uh, especially like the rest of the year. I feel like my game went uh, up all the time, so so I'm I'm pretty confident where my game is right now. Further to that, I mean, when you look at, and I'm sure you have some feedback in your meetings, but from the beginning of the year to now, what's the biggest growth you made defensively? Like, I know that that was something you really you always talked about that that was your priority. What in particular do you think that you took a huge step on? I feel like it, it all comes when I get older. Uh, I kind of start trusting my body more. You know, I play more physical. I, I give more hits. Uh, I don't lose that like a uh, body position that often anymore. So I feel like uh, at the end of the year, I was way better. It's just like taking guys out, you know, boxing out, uh, giving those some hits, you know, what I probably didn't give uh, early on. So I feel like that was the biggest change for me. How about the penalty kill? You seem to lose it all overall there. I mean, it's kind of like uh, in Finland too. I uh, used to play, uh, so I gotta know how to play too. I feel like here they they don't really know or want me to play, but I feel like I can do that job too, uh, and I, I'd be pretty good at it too. So uh, I, sp uh, I I I want to be a player who can play PK power play like in every situation. So that's probably for the next two years too. I want to get better on that too. What about this team or, or the people on it made you feel like you could be yourself? I mean, it's just, uh, I, I feel like it's all about you, that you know all the guys. You know all the guys well. You don't have to be nervous around them. You can just like literally say anything you want and they can understand it. So I feel like it's just knowing each other well. What does your summer look like? Uh, well, that's hard to say. No, I haven't really think about it that, but it's a lot of training. You know, yeah. probably going to take a little time off now. Go back to Finland and see all my friends and family. It's been a long year here. Uh, then I'm probably gonna back, go back to work after that. Did you? Uh, was it easier having some new guys come in, like Henry Nikkinen? I mean, you don't want to assume all Finnish guys know each other, like Swedish, Canadian, whatever. But was it easy to let those help those guys come in and kind of get the lay of the land the way you had it for you? I mean, for sure. Like now, when Henry came in, it's it's for me. I, I just try to help as much as I can. You know, when I came here, there was a buddy here. Uh, all those guys, they were helping me a lot. To make me feel comfortable, like even when I didn't know anything about this city or where to go, to help me out. So I, I just tried to be the best, best for Henry too. Did you feel a connectivity to the parent club, to the Jets? You know, like when Nate Schmidt was, and you were sitting and doing your media availabilities, everybody talked about how he kind of embraced you, not literally, but you know what I mean, that idea. Did you feel like that there was a connectivity with those guys up there a little bit, and that kind of helped you along, and so you know you have a spot there, you know, depending on what happens with training camp. Oh, for sure. Like, for me, the biggest thing is that I feel like those guys make me comfortable there. Uh, that's for me. Like, I, I think I play my best games when I'm comfortable and like I don't have to really think about anything. I feel like my game is when I start thinking too much, it's not going well. So I feel like, especially there when those guys like Naismith, uh, Brendan Dillon, those all those guys, 
they made me feel comfortable talking to me a lot. Uh, so that's, that made me feel comfortable. And when I'm comfortable, I play better. How, how just last one for you about, you know, being your sophomore and not, how big is that for like to ease homesickness? I don't know if, if you ever, you know, get homesick or whatnot, but I mean, you are far away from home and as a younger person, like, was that something that really helped you kind of feel comfortable here and whatnot? Oh, of course. Uh, you know, uh, I feel like for me, the most help is uh, when my parents come over here yeah. at times. You know, just feel like uh, you have someone at home when you go home. You have someone to talk. Especially, you can talk a lot of Finnish too, so you don't have to always use your second language. That's that's big. But you know, I I never kind of like I I've been living away from home when I was young too. So so I kind of know what it is. It's not new for me anymore. So it's not a big deal for me. But it's always nice. Like you know, I'm happy we have those FaceTime as those stuff now, nowadays. So we can just call every day.